What is up people? So it is Sunday, July 11 today. Today we are 11 weeks out from show number one, PCA Ireland, and 12 weeks out from the Ireland Classic. So days are counting down, the weeks are going by very, very fast, and the shows are getting very close. I'm gonna go through my first full day of eating for you today, because I know people kind of like to see the food, what is being ate. I'm on a meal plan at the moment, so like I don't, I'm not supposed to know, I suppose what calories or macros I'm on but just for the sake of the video I just inputted everything into my fitness pal so I could see the calories and macros just so you'll have an idea because I think that's the interesting part is the, the calories and the macros. So the calories we're on, I have three different days at the moment. So I have push day calories, uh, pull leg day calories and then just rest day calories. So basically my push days I have a little more carbs very very similar to the pulling legs i think there's just an extra banana and some extra cocoa pops post workout that's pretty much it and then rest day there's a little less food so i'll definitely film a rest day um a rest day video at some point but today we're going to go through the push day so this is the most amount of food that i would have from the meal plan so i have 3500 calories in total on push that's spread across five meals six if you're including the intro i don't really include it um, carbs 513 grams fat 55 grams and then protein 233 grams now that is including things like if there's a sauce added in with a meal or if there's milk added in with we'll say the coke pops or the whey protein shake so it is literally everything is accounted for in that three and a half thousand calories i think a lot of people when they're tracking they forget these little things and the good thing about a meal plan is you don't have to like this is the whole point you don't have to track those things because if they're in from the start they're a consistency like if we're dropping food they're never going to say well they might at some point but when we're making reductions to food like ryan is never going to say to me okay i want you to reduce your sauce by half the amount you're using now or i want you to cut your milk in half something like that it's uh it's going to be like okay rice is being dropped this amount oats is being dropped coke pops being dropped so things like that but again for the sake of the video we're just going to track everything so you know exactly how many calories I'm eating. So yeah, like I said, like I'm even surprised that I'm on three and a half thousand calories on push days and I'm losing, you know, the weight I'm losing and getting into the condition I'm getting. Um, three and a half thousand calories at 11 weeks out to me is just like nuts. Uh, I know I can get down very, very low with the calories. So the rest of this hopefully should be a breeze. I'm saying that now. I know it will get tough, but Again, if I'm on three and a half thousand calories 11 weeks out, um, I'm more than ready for you know some drops to come. So yeah, we're gonna head up to Ali now, do the food shop, and we'll check back in then. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock now. We're just back from steps and doing check-ins. So we're gonna have meal one now. Uh, gonna jump in the shower after that and get ready for training. So I'm gonna take you through meal one right now. So meal one is three eggs. We have 60 grams of oats and then also 20 grams of whey. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. So for the eggs, we'll go through that first. So I'm literally doing three scrambled eggs. Feeling fancy, so I'm gonna do it on the pan today. Just cause I like to go all out for the YouTube videos. Right, so three eggs in the bowl. Give that a little whisk up before we throw it on the pan. So spraying the pan obviously with one cal spray. Gotta save those cals, bro. And then when I'm mixing up the eggs, I'll normally season it while it's cooking. So I'll mix in the seasoning in through the eggs. And then I'll also season it when they're done as well because I do a lot of my seasoning. So literally just doing salt, black pepper, and then this one. So really enjoying this lately. Uh, chicken and steak seasoning. So it's onion, garlic, chili, and coriander. So good combo, good, good combo and then whack that on the pan. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the eggs. So I'll also throw some of the frozen onions and chili through that as well, just to give it more flavor. And again, just a little more volume into it. Not a huge amount, but it does taste nice. 
So, in with the frozen onions. Nice amount in there. And the secret weapon, frozen chopped chilies. Again, a tiny amount of that makes so much difference. Right, they're gonna cook up pretty fast, so we're gonna get the oats ready. Right, so 60 grams of oats, so obviously weigh it out, so bowl on the scales. This is pretty handy, because one scoop is 30 grams, so normally don't have to weigh it, but just make sure we are accurate. So, 60 grams of oats, like I said, just gonna mix around with boiling water. I don't cook it on the hob, I don't do anything fancy with the oats. Don't do it in the microwave. But what I do, so I have 20 grams of whey. Instead of drinking the whey or mixing it through the oats, which I found used to give it like a, like a, a cakey texture, but not in a good way, like kind of clay thick, it wasn't nice, is I use whey paste. So I am definitely team don't drink your way. <laughs> so this one, the Train by JP Vanilla Way is one of the nicest ones for making that paste. So it's like a, a vanilla paste or a vanilla sauce uh, to put it over the oats. It's so, so nice. So we'll just get the oats ready. Just while that's soaking up then we'll get the whey paste ready. So let the mug. So we need 20 grams of whey here, so back onto the weighing scales. Perfect. 21 grams, I will take that extra one gram all day. Right, and then we're gonna mix it through with water to make the paste. So if it's 20 grams, you're going 20 mils of water. If it's 30 grams, you're going 30 mils. So basically the same amount of milliliters of water um, to grams of whey protein. So 20, using bottled water because we're fancy over on this side of the bridge. Then literally, well I can see that, it's pretty fucking white. So just mix that around, it'll be a thick enough consistency. So like a paste, give it a good stir around, make sure there's no lumps in it. And you'll see it now when it comes out. Okay, eggs are done, oats is done. Whey paste is ready. So that is how the finished product will look. Get that over the oats. And honestly, this is one of the nicest things you can do with whey. I'm not a big fan of whey protein. It's taken me a while to find a whey protein I actually like. Most of them, when I drink them, used to just sit in my stomach. Wouldn't taste nice at all, and it would actually kill my appetite completely. Uh, ruin my digestion as well, whereas this is such a nice taste. It digests really, really well. And um, so I've definitely been using this uh, with the oats every single morning. Such a game changer. So yeah, there you have it. There is our oats with our vanilla whey on top. Okay, so that is how meal one is looking. So we're pre-workout meal. Three eggs scrambled, 60 grams of oats with 20 grams of whey, and then 100 grams of pineapple. So we're gonna get into this. Okay, meal one is in, we're showered, we're ready to go. So we're on push today. So uh, we're gonna just make the intra workout shake now. So this is what I use for the intra shake. Uh, supplement needs intra EAA plus. Glutamine and creatine. So I just throw that all in into the intershake and then we have some cyclic dextrin from bulk powders. You don't need to get like the supple needs version of anything but I would recommend if you are going to get an intra EAA um, to get their version of it. It is a little more expensive but the, the panel you get, the ingredient panel is unbelievable and uh, also the taste as well. It's the nicest tasting one I've tried. Uh, I think I tried another one from JP and it was just absolutely stink. So I wouldn't go past this one. If anyone isn't sure what an intra EAA is, basically it's essential amino acids. You take it intra workout. It's to help increase muscle protein synthesis and prevent muscle protein breakdown. So basically you should put our body in a better state to actually build muscle. Very important when we're in a calorie deficit, especially if we're going down very, very low in calories, something like that could help swing, you know, muscle building into your favor and stop you uh, losing muscle. If you're in a gaining phase or in a calorie surplus, 
I wouldn't put it down as an essential. Um, you probably have enough food in you that you know, you're know you not at risk of breaking down muscle. The only time I would take it then is if you train fasted in the morning. So just so you have something in there, you know, if your last meal was what, eight, 10 hours before, whatever it was. But yeah, we're gonna put this in, shake it up, and then go to the gym. So on push days, we have 40 carb worth of cyclic dextrin on pull and legs it's only 30 i believe so a little bit more intra workout on the push days and um, the reason we have more food on push days are they are the areas i'm trying to bring up mostly you know chest shoulders bit of arms as well so we have more food in there to help with our training performance and recovery on those days specifically so that's why there's just a tiny bit more so we have the intra shake and then also we are bringing two bananas as well to have pre-workout so I include this as part of meal one, like this isn't a separate meal. Uh, I just space them out a little bit. So I'll have meal one, which is the eggs and oats, go for a shower, make up the shake, and then just have this. So these are normally in about 30 minutes before training. You know, they're like, they digest fairly well. Um, and I feel it gives me a good burst of energy before the gym. So yeah, that is it. That is full meal one, intra shake. So we're gonna go training and then we'll be back then with our post-workout meal. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go through the post-workout meal now so this is probably my favorite meal at the moment uh, i really really look forward to this after coming home from a tough session so we are going on push days we have 160 grams of coca pops which is just a godsend so that is why we have the big bowl so we're still working with the big bowl so 160 grams of coca pops and 45 grams of whey we have the milk as well thrown in there. Now, right now, I'm using low fat milk, so just regular milk. As we get closer, so very, very soon, because we're about halfway out now, I will swap out um, the dairy milk, so like low fat milk for coconut milk, the Alpro one, um, just to reduce calories there a little bit. I find sometimes uh, dairy based milk can nearly make me bloated. I know it doesn't look it now, but I do find a big difference in digestion and just how I look when I do switch to like uh, an alternative, like an almond milk or coconut milk. I do prefer the coconut because it is a sweeter taste than the almond milk, so it does go really well in cereal and shakes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. So, weighing scales and 160 grams. Perfect. And then 45 grams of whey. So this is the whey protein that I drink post-workout. So just to change it up, it is uh, the Chaos Crew whey protein strawberry milkshake flavor. One of the nicest tasting ones. I mix this one in through with my skier as well. It's a blend between an isolate and a uh, concentrate whey protein. So it's a little bit finer of a powder, so it mixes in really, really well, uh, digests really well, and tastes very, very nice. It is very similar to a strawberry milkshake. So what I'll do is I'll eat the Coca Pops, mix this up, throw it in the fridge, and then by the time I finish the Coca Pops and have that, it'll be a little bit chilled. Uh, it tastes really, really nice when you have it cold. So that is what we're gonna do. So 45 grams of whey, which is literally about a scoop and a half. That uh, is 40 and there. So one thing I don't do, now I have tracked it for the sake of uh, the video, just so you can kind of see the calories. Um, and generally this is the amount I do use, uh, but generally I don't track milk and on meal plans, like you won't see milk added in there really. We basically use milk as a consistent inconsistency. So it's not on the plan, but you're going to use the same amount every time. Like I can't imagine one, one day having cereal, you're going to be like, okay, let's use a load of milk today. I fancy having cereal with a load of milk compared to another day being like, okay, I want a really, really dry bowl of cereal. You're always going to be using in and around the same amount of milk and the same with the, the protein shake. Like I can't imagine one day you'll be like, okay, I want a really, really thick protein shake. And then another day I want a really watery, milky protein shake. You know, you're going to have the same amount. With the protein shake, I know just from the markings that I always use 150 to 200 mils. And then normally with the Coke Pops, it's about the same 200 to 250 mils. So I just track about 200 on the plan just so you can see. And like I said, 
that low fat milk will be swapped out for coconut milk. It'll be a little less calories, but it'll be the same amount, the same volume, 200 mils, but about half the calories. So it'll be an easy calorie drop without noticing any difference. So I'm absolutely starving, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get this in. Okay, so Coco Pops are in. Literally just gonna have this now, 45 grams of whey. We're gonna chug this down. I say chug, I'm actually the slowest man ever to drink whey protein, which is why I normally have it as a paste or mixed in with skier. Uh, but 45 grams after a workout, just throw it in, just try to get it down as fast as I can. And then, you know what, I'm gonna finish client work, so get some check-ins, get some updates sent over, and then I think I'll schedule a little nap for myself. I've been really enjoying naps after a workout, so I think that's on the cards for us today, and then we will be back with meal, meal three. Okay, so it's the evening now, client work is done. We had our little siesta, had our little nap. So right now it is, it's close to half seven now. Um, so a little bit later and we still have three meals to get in, which is nice knowing that, okay, look, I'm gonna be going to bed about 11 o'clock. Uh, I still have three meals, so I know I'm not gonna be hungry. So that is the good thing. Um, I find it a lot easier pushing off my meals. And when I can push off the meals, it's, it's just gonna make the day so much easier, especially knowing I still have three meals to go and it's half seven now, do you know? Uh, this meal, meal three, is gonna be quite boring, nothing exciting. So we are gonna use this smoked chipotle chicken that I talked about, so 150 grams of this, and we're literally just gonna match it up with uh, the packet of microwavable jasmine rice. So nothing exciting, your very stereotypical chicken and rice. Uh, the chicken is very, very nice though. So that is gonna go into the air fryer for about 15 minutes. It's really thin, cooks very fast in the air fryer and then into the microwave for two minutes with the rice. So it's a very, very quick meal. We'll throw that together uh, and get that down for meal three. Okay, so meal number three now, literally 150 grams of chicken, uh, 80 carb worth of rice. So it's 100 grams uncooked, or the full 250 grams of the microwavable pack. Doesn't look that appetizing to be honest. Um, looking at it now for the camera, definitely does not look that appetizing. Um, but I'm telling you, it is very, very nice, or as nice as chicken and rice can go. The smoked chipotle chili, chicken is yeah it's a game changer for me anyway it looks very plain but it does taste very nice i don't know if that's just prep warping my perception of food um i could look back and that and think connor how the fuck were you eating that but right now this is a very very good taste of meal and uh, so we're going to crack in with it and then we just have a club zero rock shandy as well because i love my zero calorie drinks i know as we get closer to the stage date that the zero calorie drinks will definitely start to be pulled. Anything carbonated uh, will be pulled, but while the going is good, we're gonna have them in. They really help with adherence, I suppose, for me. So yeah, they're in for now. Uh, gonna get this in, and then we will be back for meal four. Okay, so meal number four now, what we are gonna do is, we have 150 grams of the lean steak mince, so 5% fat mince, and then we're gonna use 100 grams of pasta. So on plan, I think it is 100 grams of rice, or 80 carbs worth of rice, and we're gonna swap it out and just use the pasta instead. They make a bit of a nicer meal, uh, and we're gonna use a sauce in that. So again, it's a consistency that I've used from the start. I don't normally track the calories, but I have tracked it in just for the sake of the video. So this is the sauce I use. I just mix it in with the mince. Um, I put in the entire jar and I make three portions out of the mince. So just avoid the entire amount by three. I think it works out at about 50 or 60 calories. So a very minuscule amount. But again, as we get closer to the end of prep, I'm sure things like sauces will start to be pulled um, as we kind of hone in on the finer details. But for now, it's in. So we're gonna get cracking into it. Also, another pro tip, use macaroni. Rather than your penny, macaroni is the way to go because they're smaller shells, so it just feels like you're getting a lot more. Right, so just get the mince broken up first and then we're gonna whack some of the seasoning in. So, always pretty much everything, go in with salt. Black pepper. And then this little fella. The 
pasta seasoning from Aldi. Really, really nice with any kind of pasta dishes. Okay, means it's just about cooked now, so we're gonna start adding in an extra few bits. So, like always, white diced onion, chili for a little kick, and then we're also throwing the frozen garlic in here as well for a little bit of flavor. Okay, sauce going in next on top. So the amount I have here is three portions. Like I was saying earlier, the mince, the entire pack is 450 grams and my portion of the mince for the day is 150. So I'll get three portions out of that. Um, so I divide obviously the sauce then by three. And then with the pasta, I just cook the pasta up fresh every time because reheated pasta is just absolutely cat. Uh, it just dries out and does not taste nice. So I make the mince and reheat that, uh, but I'll always cook the pasta up fresh. Okay, so we're just going to season up the pasta a little bit on its own. So again, the pasta seasoning on top. Cannot get enough of this. It's literally just a mix of a load of dry herbs, a load of Italian seasoning. Salt, because you can never get enough salt. And then just divide this up into three portions. So kind of just eyeball it again. If it's spread across three days, it's all going in the same. So just get a third of that. Whack it on top. Bon appetito. Okay, so last meal of the day, uh, meal five, we are having 250 grams of skier. So I just use this vanilla one from Aldi. Really, really nice. We're gonna mix in then 15 grams of whey. So this is the whey protein you would have seen earlier. Again, it's a blend of an isolate and a concentrate protein, uh, but it's a really, really fine powder. So it mixes in very well with the vanilla, makes a nice kind of a strawberry paste. And then 15 grams of a nut butter. I was using almond butter, but I just got sick of it. It was a real dry taste, didn't like it at all. So we swapped it out. We got this from Bulk Petters the other day to give it a go and really, really enjoy it. So it's a dark chocolate hazelnut butter. Got the go ahead off the coach to put this in instead of the almond. So very, very happy. We got that swap so much nicer than the almond butter. So we're gonna weigh it our 250 grams, uh, get everything mixed up, and then we will show you the final product. Stink now. I need a new spoon and everything. <laughs> I knew why. Did you see the way it was like bubbling? Remember, you got this here before. Yeah, I lost it. And it was oh, I, I fucking I can see the bubbles on top of the texture. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start gagging. That is fucking <coughs> sick. Uh, uh. <laughs> what are you gagging for? Are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew. Uh. Oh. Look, this one has a tail. <laughs> You're like your man from Jackass. I got to vomit. Oh my god, the sound and the smell and the texture. Did you smell it? Oh my god. Did you see the texture what of the it though? What the fuck? It's like porridge. It's disgusting. Aldi, what the oh my god, fuck? Ew. That's so fucking lumpy. Oh, it's like cottage cheese. Oh, ew. The smell of that, it was like, um, it was just really fucking sour. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same. I can tell it because it's like, it's pushing swollen. against the lid. Yeah, it's swollen. Do I have another one? The date is the 28th of July. Like it's only what the 12th today. Why? Right? That one. That one looks okay. Yeah, here. Let's see. That happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Do you remember with the this pouches? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, that's the only reason I knew. If I didn't have known that with the pouches. Yeah, I would have made some sour yogurt. Like okay. Absolutely. I hate disgusting. when there's all that water on top. Oh yeah. Don't mix that through. And don't put yogurt in. Oh. Okay. Jesus Christ. What's mm -hmm. that in there? Right? Anyway. Okay, that was on 150 grams. It's gone mm. off. <laughs> so an extra 100 grams. 65. 89. Right, that'll do. So, we eventually got there, eventually got our 250 grams of fresh skier yogurt, not gone off. 
So we're gonna mix in the whey. So just take a look at this whey, right? Get over here, get a close up on that. See the shine off it? It's real powdery, very, very fine. So 15 grams in, let's see if we get this right. Seven, 13, come on. I'm gonna fuck it now. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck it. 18 grams, we're going with it. Okay, and mix that in and you'll see it now. Just take it off there. So it turns into like, not even a strawberry paste, like, it reminds me of, do you remember those Ambrosia, is it like Angel Delight, the strawberry ones? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it kind of reminds me of. But really, really nice to see it when it's mixed in. You can't taste like the protein texture through because it's so fine. It mixes in really, really well. Whereas any other protein, I can taste that kind of dry, clay, chalky kind of thing. Whereas this is just really, really sweet. So that's mixed in. So good. And it's just, it's a little bit thicker. Um, but the taste, that is nicer than just the regular skier on its own. And then we have 15 grams of the nut butter to go in. Kelly just asked me why did I put the nut butter on this and not the bowl. Same thing really. So I want 15 grams so I'm literally going to take it out of the nut butter and put it into the bowl. And obviously when I take it out it's going to go down minus weight. So when it says minus 15 I'll know it's 15 grams. Same fucking thing Kelly. <laughs> and actually it's easier this way because I can adjust it a little easier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay so 21. 11. Let's see. This is... Okay, that'll do. So that is 15 grams of nut butter. That is a tiny fucking amount, like so, so small. So you can see how easy it is to like go over calories if you're not weighing. So don't eyeball stuff, make sure you track absolutely everything, especially something like a nut butter or even oils, things that are high in fat. Very, very easy to go over your calories there. So track, weigh absolutely everything. But that is it, that is our final meal for the day. So again, 250 grams of skier, 15 grams of whey protein, and we have 15 grams of the chocolate hazelnut butter. We're gonna get this in, it is 11 o'clock now, so meal five, last meal goes in at 11. Go up to bed, chill, should be in bed by 12, and we do it all again tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the full day of eating. We'll be coming back with plenty of more um, eating our full day of eating videos. The next one I think I'll do is our rest day, because the food is quite different a lot lower than what it is on push days. So we have to be a little more creative with the food and the meals just to bulk them up. But yeah, that is it for today. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna go off to bed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.